Hey, Gil. What do you want to talk about, Kat? I am curious about bar pressure oh, yeah. on espresso machines. Yep. There's a lot of chit chat so, about that. Yeah, so a lot of the specs, tech specs of uh, the different machines we carry will say that they have 15 bar pumps and this bar pump and that yep. bar pump. <laughs> but then you read and it says, oh, the best espresso is pulled at nine bars. Now, that right. is also something that's up for. Uh, conversation, yeah. but that's kind of a rule of thumb. Yep. And so if I have my machine here that has a higher bar pump, what does that mean and, and how do I know that it's, you know, working at the nine bar well, pressure? Well, if it's working at the proper pressure and you have the grind of the coffee right mm -hmm. and everything is right and you don't have a manometer on there, a pressure gauge, Okay. then you're going to get your shot out in two ounces in 20 to 30 seconds. Okay. And that tells you that you're correct. All right. But if you have the gauge and the grind is right and mm -hmm. all of that, it will, as it's grinding, it will... You mean as it's I brewing. mean as it's brewing, it will pop up to 10. And then as the coffee starts to come out, it'll ease into about nine to nine and a half. So it kind of gets, the, it gets, the, it kick starts it going the and then it bars, sort of settles in. The 15 bars, you have to have the 15 bars to get the proper pressure to get that 10 bars. I see. Anything over that 15 bars, yeah, like you'll see machines that'll say, oh, our machine has 17 bars, our machine has 18 bars. It really doesn't make any difference. You have to have 15, but anything over that is superfluous. I see. It's All right. Not gonna, it's not going to enhance it or make it any better. So if somebody has too fine or too packed coffee, too much pressure, then they're going to have overpressure at the brew head, and then that will result in an overextraction. Yep. It'll pop up to sometimes up to 11 and sit there. Okay. And that's when it's coming out drip. Right. And you can tell if you don't have a manometer, that's going to be a gnarly shot because oh, it's, gnarly. it's like burning and yeah. You can go fill the cracks in your driveway with that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. But that's, that's mm -hmm. how the pressure gauge works and okay. that's why uh, they put them on the machines. Once you've had the machine for about a week, two weeks, and you get the grind down right and everything else, you probably won't be even looking at that. Yeah. Because you can just tell by looking how the coffee's coming out, what the mm -hmm. consistency is, what the crema looks like and all that. You'll get the hang of it real fast. Now, we do want to mention quickly that in the cutting edge espresso world, where all the fancy pants work, um, there's a new machine <laughs> on, a mar on the market, the Slayer. And yeah. that is one of the first commercial machines that has the ability to do different pressure profiles. For different coffees. For different coffees. Yeah. So you can see how it performs. So th somebody might want to you know, kind of do that themselves if they have a manometer, you know, they could kind of see how coffee performs at yeah. different bar and taste pressures it. and yeah. It's all about the taste at the end of the day. What you like. Yeah, yeah. it's all about what you like and yeah, that's Slayer. I'd like to see that machine. we got to go visit that. I know. We should go on a field Does trip. Does it have guns sticking out of it or, you know, swords? <laughs> or what's the it's deal? rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. <laughs> okay. got to check it out. But yeah, that's that's something that's going to be probably on a lot of machines, commercial machines down Yeah, there. I think it's, probably, it's the first one, I believe, and I think it's going to... Right out of Seattle. Mm -hmm. Naturally. Uh, yeah, naturally. naturally. <laughs> Once or twice we have a few good ideas. Yeah. And then we torture the rest of the world with them. <laughs> <laughs> we infiltrate <laughs> <our kitchen. laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Gail. You're welcome. See ya.